boobs. Ouch. Hey, um, I'm making this video to address my four prior previous videos, I mean. Uh, I'm gonna make it in the same style I did make those first four videos, meaning I'm not going to use my editing skills. Only, as you could see, first of all, I am much calmer. I was obviously going through a mental breakdown. And it's hard for me to watch, like, really. And it's also hard for me to see that those videos are the videos that attracted the most views. Why are people attracted to other people's uh, traumatizing situations? Like, I don't know. And it makes me sad a bit that people feed other off other people's misery. I don't know. I feel like what I was trying to do two years ago was a little bit this. Like, how can we just keep going like this it's not going it's not going to keep working for ever the human race is bound to instinct if we keep fighting each other for stupid reasons like race or religion or po political party and um the main reason that um prevents me from deleting those videos and getting rid of the extra embarrassments and the, the mean, ignorant comments um, is that my platform, if I'm a social media influencer, this is what I'm trying to influence people to do. I'm trying to influence people to be more transparent, more themselves more authentic, truer to who they are, honest towards themselves and towards what the world around them. Why hide? Who are you trying to impress? Another being made of flesh and blood and shit and ideas just like you? Why? Like, why? But really, ask yourself your, that question. They're the same, no matter how many monies they have. They're not better than you. No matter how many diplomas, we're all, we all come from the same place and we're all one species, no matter what our skin color, our sex, our political apartments, or religious beliefs. And I, it makes me happy. I believe every human wants to be happy, that's one. And two, what makes me happy is to help others through my art, through creating, through, through this, uh, I'm gonna call like my, my self help to inner peace class. How's that for a title? Anyway, <clears throat> you get the idea. I'm trying. I'm trying to give you my tricks that worked for me to reach happiness and to maintain my happiness. My tricks won't necessarily work for you. Unfortunately, it isn't one size fits all. You're going to have to do some of the work. And it's not going to be easy. 
but if you're sick of living your life the way it is now, I think I could truly help you uh, have the better version of your life you want for yourself. Like I could give you the tools to find out what that is for yourself. Because I can't do it for you. No one can. No one can be your friend like you can be your friend. And unfortunately, no one can be your enemy like you can be your enemy. So, reality is that people will view like the they're gonna talk shit about my mental breakdown they're gonna judge me and like I'm gonna have to face that and you know what it was my reality in April 2018 it's not my reality today and if you're too dumb to accept that then I'm sorry you do not want to accept my help because you saw me going through some things. But that's what authenticity and transparency means. I'm going to leave you on that. And hopefully after making this video, I'm going to feel free to give you fun content. Maybe feature some of my friends on my channel. I have arti artistic people on my friends. I have philosophers like I you you're just gonna meet all kinds of people if I start doing that I was thinking maybe doing certain segments I'm also working on a film project I think might not end up anywhere else than YouTube it's a documentary film about I guess me and where I come from like, I mean this film to also, like, destigmatize sex work, just so you, you know, like, this could easily be you, or this could be your neighbor, your sister, your best friend, your partner. It could be anybody, really. There's no level of education or uh, amount of money in your bank account that will decide who does sex work or who doesn't it, do, it doesn't matter if you grew up in a five-story home or in a two-bedroom apartment it, you're not um immune to um to bad situations so uh, i'm gonna leave you on this tell you don't forget to subscribe and also follow my Periscope, my Instagram. I'm everywhere on social media. I just recently started a Patreon. It's a slash Lara Rocks. Behance, same thing. I'm a graphic designer, if you didn't know. And I'm an aspiring filmmaker. So... And I identify as a human being from planet Earth. And I feel a lot of things about society is broken. And I tend to fix as much of it as I can. And this until the day I die. Thank you. Good night.